all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn head you leave? So today is a new day, okay? And I am happy to be alive. Y'all make sure y'all thank whoever you pray to, because, baby, it's wicked out here, all right? Make sure you be grateful for what you have and not what you want, all right? Sometimes what you want ain't what you need. Hello? Can I get an amen? Now, anyway. I want to appreciate y'all, you know, and let y'all know that I appreciate y'all so much for tuning in, watching these videos, and you know, doing what you do, because you don't have to, you know what I'm saying, and you do, all right? So I just want y'all to know I appreciate y'all, and I know this may sound repetitive, but I'm very appreciative, and for anybody that ever think I take it for granted, I don't, all right? So I just wanted to put that out there, but anyway, I want y'all to know that we are about to get into a series of videos today that is very worldly, and we're putting this on my main channel, so... We are going to start off with um, the NLE chopper situation because I really want to get into the NLE chopper situation. Kings now. and queens. With the NLE chopper situation, let's just be very clear. <laughs> First of all, for those that don't know, um, NLE chopper is 19. I'm not chopper. NLE chopper. I believe is 19 years old. I don't even think my boy 20 yet. But he's a very mature guy. He... he I believe he respects himself a lot. He's going through a lot of life changes and he is just a different guy. And the woman that he's been dating is almost 30 years old. Now, I would say age ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> but at the age of 19, they don't want to do nothing, but you know what I'm saying? Shake what their mama gave them or uh, give out community D. Now you got some at 30 that want to do the same thing. But in this situation, he wanted to be free. And he told her he wanted to be free. And she went against her own morals to allow that freedom. And I think that turned him off. You know, this is alleged. I just, just my opinion. I feel like he was like, you know, she was with everything, but you could tell she wasn't with everything. You know, mentally, you could tell it was damn near draining her. And he, he said, if he felt like I got to go against the grain or like, if I feel like I'm not doing this freely, then I, I feel like it's bondage. So I just want to put that out there. But uh, let's react to these videos of this situation. It's going to be two videos and we're going to get into it. How y'all doing today? So as Shout out to Fool Ass Guy, by the way. Now, social media is currently upset with the 19-year-old rapper NLE Chopper for leaving his 26-year-old girlfriend to 26. become the best version of himself. He posted on Twitter three days ago, I am single. I'm man enough to admit that I am not ready and I have some growing to do. Now, let's keep in mind, according to the both of them, he did not cheat. He didn't mistreat her and that this was actually her best relationship. I am completely in shambles. This shit is hard for me. Well, he cheated, but it was okay that he cheated. Okay, she was okay with the fact that he was doing him. That was cool. But you could tell it was tearing her ass up, Steve. Um... As in, she approved it, but that don't mean I like it, basically. The, the knots in my stomach, the can't, the knots in my stomach, the can't eat. I have an appetite, oh, crying out of nowhere, constantly. The waking up in the middle of the night, you got pits in your fucking stomach, right? My anxiety is through the roof. Uh, I toss and turn. And I just hope when I come back that I have a different story to tell. I love the hell out of that man. I now, I am in no way, shape, or form trying to invalidate her feelings. She feels the way she feels, and that is perfectly okay. Annalie Chopper also feels the way that he feels, and that is perfectly okay. She got on Twitter, and she said... The devil will really try to destroy it if you let him. People, will I before she even get into that, like I just feel like a person feeling as though 
they cannot live or life cannot go on without another person, which I have been there as well. Let me put that out there. I like to, it's crazy how people call me biased and I always include myself in it, but whatever, say what you want. Um, I've been there as well, just weak, just feeling as though, and I'm not calling her weak. I'm saying that I have been there. I felt weak and I felt as though I couldn't live without a person. One of the worst things that I've ever done in my life because people, we can't control people, right? And we can't control what people do. People do them and they are allowed to, right? And if you feel as though you are just going to lose your whole entire life or, you know, whatever over a person, then that means you don't love yourself, okay? Now, that don't mean that you won't be like your feelings won't be hurt. I'm not saying that, okay? But to not be able to eat, not to be able to sleep, you know, and just to feel so low. I feel like at some point I, I, you got to have some love there for you. Like, you know, I know he wanted to do him and I should have enough respect for me to understand that that's not what I wanted. That's, that's the respect I feel like he had for her. And granted, if he just up and left her, you know, like up and like, listen, man, I don't want to do this today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do this today, but we was absolutely fine yesterday. I can't act like that won't hurt. But I, men don't like weak women. You know what I'm saying? Nobody likes a weak person. Women don't like weak men. You know, and when you put that off, it's just, it's not a good, it's not a good feeling. Will literally sabotage their relationship. I've realized people don't want to be happy. God can literally send you an angel in because it's not toxic. It's not for you. It just doesn't make sense. People are so scared to be happy. They feel like it's impossible or something without negativity. Please. Oh, how hard it is for me to... Yeah. I think she held the nigga down, you know, and it was more so like it wasn't toxic to her, but I feel like he felt guilty for doing what he was doing because she was such a good woman. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like he's respecting her, but I feel like she's like, nigga, I didn't ask you to respect. <laughs> I didn't ask you for that. I was cool with whatever you was giving. And some women are like that, you know, and that's okay. I don't think anything's wrong with that. He letting you know I'm 19. I still want to play. I get it. I get it. He a damn baby. She just Heart said this. It hurts the most. And I'm trying to be strong and it's hard. You got to be friends. So now, I just don't understand how NLE Chopper is wrong in this situation. So it's... I realize I could be the best woman I can be and I'm still not enough for him. You're not enough for him. That don't mean you're not enough for somebody else. That don't mean you're not enough for yourself. And that's the shit that I hate about relationships. When we lose ourselves, we lose that part of us. When you single, you enough for you. Are you not? For most people, when you single, you done dusted your, yourself off. You done put that crown back on. And you enough for you. Then you meet somebody and you give them everything you got, girl. And just your whole self. And then suddenly, you ain't enough. I hate that shit. If you have the answer, let me know in my comment section. I can accept certain things that's still not enough. That's the problem. That's hurtful, but it could be reality and, and that is okay. Nah, reality is he probably didn't want a woman to accept that shit, to be honest with you. He might have wanted a woman to not accept that shit. And you were scared to lose him, so you accepted it going against your own will. That's not attractive either. You know what I'm saying? Depending on the situation. In this situation, that's how he was. I was an amazing partner. I was an amazing woman. I loved deeply. I submitted, loyal. I was soft. I was supportive, faithful, and I grew into an amazing woman. 
better woman. I'm not perfect, but I love this version of myself. Below now, I just cannot help but ask if it was the other way around. If NLE Chopper was 26 years old and his girlfriend was 19 years of age and she left him because she wanted to better herself. I feel like a lot of the same people currently upset with NLE Chopper would applaud her. She goes on to say, I've realized I could be the best woman I can be and I'm still not enough. I can accept certain things. They was I NLE Chopper never tried to show him I'm in his corner. So Bryson was really the best man i've ever had but we all have to learn and grow as much as i try to show him i'm in his corner some journeys he wants to take alone i have built a family with this man a relationship with this man a deep meaningful bond then that don't mean you gotta lose it you know but that friendship gonna have to be there you know but you know i was told that before like i said that you know i got i'm fighting a lot of shit in my own head and i need to deal with it by myself and I was told I could do it with you, but you can't. You can't fight. Whatever a person is fighting on their own journey, you can't fight with them. You're going to make me lose. Because <laughs> you're throwing me against what, where I need to be going. Some you know? journeys he wants to take alone. Now, Annalie Chopper never said anything about her tweets, but when she came to the internet, snot nose crying, he then... Once y'all put certain things on the net, that should be private. That shit blows me. Especially when I already got a reputation of being the bad guy. That shit's unfair. I get backlash for, for choosing myself every time and I'm wrong. My intentions are responded and, and said so this. Fair. Once y'all put I certain agree. things on the, the bag, my intent be mother. But in this situation, he is not wrong. I know. Yeah, and also it, with this, his intentions was to help her out. I feel like, like, listen, I ain't even trying to dog you like this. You are a good woman, but let me do me. That's crazy. Broken heart isn't something you get over overnight. So I really do wish the best for her. Yeah. And plus she just miscarried. It may be difficult for the both of them. So y'all just let me know what y'all think in my comment section below. <sighs> That's terrible. It's a second video to this. But I don't even know if we need the second video. Cause child. Kings and queens. How y'all doing today? So as of now, social media is currently. This was enough. Let me see. Oh no. Him, what he had to say. Uh, you were stupid. Um, I just, but he was doing things that grown men never did for me. Um, never taught me. I experienced things that he was just so mature. And just because he was young, it doesn't mean that he didn't have the ability to do. I so. in no way mean to be insensitive yeah. right now, but y'all know what this situation kind of remind me of when the grown man Tyrese came to the internet crying because his young girlfriend did not want to marry him because she simply wasn't ready. And I know Tyrese and the girl is back together, but stop thinking because you got you a youngin, it's gonna be peaches and cream. Because right. one day that youngin, man or woman, is gonna wake up and realize they got their whole life to live. I know you starting to grow feelings for me, but I want to let you know who I am as a person first and foremost. I don't see myself at this time period with me being 19 years old, with me have not experienced my 20s. And, and 19 year olds not saying this shit. I would have commended the nigga for that. All this stuff. I do not see me being just loyal to you. But I can't, I can't, I can't sit here and lie to you and say, um, if I be with you, it's just gonna be you. You the only person I'ma have. Sweet. So right now the That's internet real. is mad at NLE Chopper for breaking up with his 26, 27 year old girlfriend. She came to the internet boohoo crying and not a lot of supporters feel bad for her and I completely understand. She got a- The snot nose is what make people feel bad, but people don't feel bad for men when they snotty nose. That's the crazy Heartbroken. Part. She had a miscarriage and yeah. now the man she wants to be with no longer wants to be with her. It was, I said, um, I don't see myself having one wife. And that's another thing, Marissa, she was big on marriage. She was big on marriage, so I'm like, I'm like, I, I had to let her know, like, I don't see myself having one wife. I said, I'll probably marry you, but you would have to, you know, be cool with the simple fact that I believe in polygamy. So you may not be the only person that 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 I would that I would marry. You know what I'm saying? And I let her know that, and she was like, mm. she was like, that's different. Um, I feel like that's cool. I feel like that's something I can work on with being open to as well. So so this was pretty much the thing. And, and no disrespect, Marissa was willing to give up all of these things that she felt that she was going to get from um, just out of life. And the next thing, she was with me in a sense of hope. I feel like she was with me in a sense of hope and I grew out of it. 
Um, she was willing to do everything. Did she want to do it? Her, her, her mind and her heart wanted to do it. But her soul, that was not what her soul wanted. And you can tell. And when a person is already painted as the bad guy, the worst thing you... The, the, the worst thing you can do is let a person just go along with the shit that you doing knowing damn well that's not what she wants. I feel like he literally was respecting her her morals. Like, man, this shit ain't for you, bro. This ain't for you. But this ain't for me either. I, I, I want to play. Um, I just. And in, the, and, and in the sense of that, like, I felt wrong. That's why I left. So basically, in the beginning, he told us straight up, I'm into Polly. I'll have multiple girlfriends, and it's more than likely that I'll marry multiple women. The Let me tell y'all something. He felt wrong because he knew she wasn't the type of woman that wanted to respect that, that wanted to accept that, but she was doing it because she loved him. That don't make it right. If it's a woman out here that's like, yo, listen, uh, you could do you, I'm gonna do me, I ain't even tripping. Um, you know, we just meet up on the meetup. That's a woman that he is, that I think he would be better, uh, attracted to. But at the same time, don't no man want another woman that's sleeping with a whole bunch of other dudes either. So he ain't gonna ever be happy. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He ain't gonna ever be happy. He want a loyal woman that's able to take his shit. But I guarantee you the day she decided to give him his shit, he ain't gonna be able to take it. You know what I'm saying? So... Either way, I think that he's going to lose, you know, as far as him just trying to be married to somebody but want to sleep with other. Like, don't be married then. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you just need to be the hoe that you want to be <laughs> and be the hoe that you want to be in peace. Hello? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like that's what he needs to do and stop playing with these women, you know? But they got to realize, too, he's saying what he want and he's saying that he going to get that. And if it ain't going to be with you, it's going to be with somebody else. I will let the community D stay in the community, okay? I'm done with this video. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.